So, there I am, the big masculine Call of Duty player that I am, and I'm looking through my wardrobe one morning, trying to find a shirt that hasn't been absolutely demolished by the slightest movement of my rippling muscles. And I'm sitting there thinking, hmm, perhaps I've wasted the last ten years of my life playing stupid video games. And the thought crosses my mind. Was Call of Duty ever a good series? Okay, let me answer my own question with yes and no. Well, allow me to elaborate on that. Some subseries of the Call of Duty series can be incredible even moving, but if you take the rest of them, just the ones that are absolutely there to just make money, that's where the problems start to pop up. So let's get a good idea of this by simply going through the history of the series. A long time ago, at the dawn of time, yes, 2003, a little developer called Infinity Ward developed the basic World War II shooter. What the difference with this one, unlike all the ones that saturated the market at the time, is this was the first one that really made you feel connected with your platoon. Made you feel like every character death was a stab in the face. Because of that, it got so popular it had to get a sequel. So in 2005, Infinity Ward developed Call of Duty 2, Big Red One. And by this point, everyone was still absolutely in love and engrossed with these characters. And the setting with the struggles of World War. And you could use the same description for Big Red One as you could use for the first. Yeah, it was just another basic World War II shooter. Kind of more of the same. So, there was fan outcry for a third game to release, and since Infinity Ward was too busy bathing in their piles and piles of money, they had a little company called Treyarch develop the third game. Call of Duty 3 was more of the same. World War II, shooter, shoot the Nazis, that's what you did. I feel like a lot of people were starting to feel that the series was oversaturated by this point, with three whole games based in the same setting, plus Treyarch not giving the series the same sense of absolute immersion. People either wanted a change, or they wanted the series to stop there. And since Infinity Ward was yet again busy rolling in their piles of money, the, you know, they had Treyarch go at it again with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This was just what the series needed at the time, cemented Treyarch as a good Call of Duty developer. And it even spun off into the Call of Duty Modern Warfare subseries, which I actually find to be one of the most boring Call of Duty subseries, but it's what people wanted at the time. And once again, people started to get a bit tired of the setting after Modern Warfare 2 and 3 by Treyarch. People wanted something new again with Ghosts in 2013, which was a fantastic game, probably the best in the series thus far. Well, there's 10 billion Call of Duty games since then, and this video would be six hours long if I tried to go through all of what I, of all of them, you know? So I'm just going to skip to the subseries I actually enjoy. Call of Duty Black Ops series. Going back a little bit with the first game coming out in 2010, the second in 2012, the third in 2015, and the fourth in 2018, and finally, just last year in 2020, we got Black Ops Cold War. I don't count the last two because they're bad. The first Black Ops game truly made you feel like you were a Black Operatives agent. Going through and doing missions that had to be top secret at all times could not just let information get around. This was accented perfectly, with right after you were told your mission objective, it would be blacked out with black ink immediately. The feel and style of this game was beautiful, absolute goliath of shooters, but it pales in comparison to Black Ops 2, my personal favorite Call of Duty game. An absolutely perfect Call of Duty experience. With your first mission being on the battlefield with all of these things that you have to do, and you have to call in planes to come down and shoot the things that you can't destroy yourself, you have to ride the tank with your general, it's an incredible experience. And once you get off the boat and you have to get on this boat that's in the water on a river, and you have to rescue one of the people who had been captured by the opposing army, you find him half dead in a cargo box full of others. 
uh, you have to escape the boat to a training camp full filled with the opposing team soldiers it's a training camp for them you know you have to make sure that you don't get caught while trying to get him to the area where you're safe and you the other soldier i wish i could speak you have to make sure that you don't get caught while trying to get him to an area where you're safe you know you have to get there with one other soldier attempting to get him out alive not to mention the online multiplayer. Oh, the online multiplayer. This was a true online multiplayer for a shooter. People on mic swearing at you for killing them. People who would just start playing music as loud as they physically could into their microphones. The absolute toxic people who would stand there and just glorify their kill with a teabag over and over again. It was the perfect experience. And then Black Ops 3 came around and kind of ruined that. But I'm not saying Black Ops 3 was a bad game. I wouldn't do that. I'm open-minded. <laughs> Obviously. I just think that they should have stopped with Black Ops 2. I honestly have nothing to say about 3 other than it was really worse than 2. Then finally Black Ops 4 came around. It's bad feels like every other first person shooter on the market today specifically in 2018 there were so many first person shooters going around that it felt the exact same it just wasn't unique or fun experience anymore and then i haven't played cold war but as far as i'm concerned it just looks like it's an online only game i could be completely wrong about that i honestly don't care call of duty has put itself into a rut of games that are just unplayable by today's standards from how boring monotonous from just how boring and monotonous they are man if i could speak today that would be really nice and they are the same as every other game on the market you know they they're just i'm not gonna restart the recording just because i can't speak okay <clears throat> and they are the same as every other game on the market. In short, I believe that the majority of the Call of Duty series is oversaturated. And I believe there's so many different sub-series that you can't even keep track with it anymore. And... Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Mm. Can you tell how professional this is? In short, I think the majority of the Call of Duty series is oversaturated, and I believe... There's so many different sub-series that you can't even keep track anymore. And most of them have the same game with different enemies copy-pasted over the same battlefield with different colors copy-pasted. In conclusion, the last good Call of Duty game was Black Ops 2. The rest of the series has been going downhill from then. But if we're talking about old games, the PS2 through Xbox 360 era, that was when the series truly got its footing. That was when it was the best it could be. And if you couldn't avoid it, man, it was just everywhere. Everyone loved it. And if you... You were obligated to love it, too. Or else you would be the lamest kid on the playground. In fact, I have a story about that. I remember I had a lot of friends who really liked Call of Duty at the time. And I was just not into that type of game. Because I wasted almost five years of my life doing nothing but playing stupid Nintendo games. And so I was not a shooter fan. I didn't like any of that. The, the blood freaked me out. There was too much bang, bang, bang gun. I was just not a fan. And obviously, uh, you know, uh, because friends are friends, they, uh, they invited me to a sleepover and kind of just sat there playing Call of Duty. And I was like, fine, I'll try it. I'll give it one try. I believe it was Ghosts. And I was like, oh my god, this is just so fun. And so I started buying them, and I started playing them, and I started enjoying them. And it was just an obsession past that point. I love so many different first-person shooters past then. So I would like to thank them. But of course, I can't give out their names, and we've all lost contact, and it's a big thing. Either way, all that I can truly say is that I would give the early Call of Duty games, PS2 and 360 era, a 20 out of 20, the perfect gameplay experience for someone looking for a first-person shooter. And I would give Modern Warfare, like, the modern games, 
a negative 650 out of 20. Yeah, that's right. I don't like new Call of Duty, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's bad, bad, and bad. Anything past the 360 era is bad. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. Again. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Woo. But you can't stay on this end.